so I thought I'd do a newbie booktube tag. Got my little book here so I can figure out what the questions were. So I thought I'd just show myself, but uh, for the one question, you don't need to keep looking at me. Um, but it was, why did you start this channel? Well, I started this channel because I'm dorky answer. I love books, of course. Um, I wanted a place where I could talk about books. I work at a library, but that doesn't mean that the people at the library all read books. So finding people to read books with me, besides Colin, is sometimes hard, even while you work at a library. So that's why I'm here, and he's going to lick his butt. Nice. <laughs> all right, well, thanks, and we'll go on to the other questions. Question was, what are some fun and neat things you can bring to YouTube or to the YouTube channel you're doing? I like to do stop action clips. I know that's goofy, but I'm goofy. And I use Storm. She's my Mego, and I love Storm. Say, hey, Storm. Hey. Um, I can bring cat noises, which you'll hear in the background. Lots of cat noises. And at times, I'll probably talk about destroying books instead of actually reading the book. Um, since I work at a library, I salvage a lot of books. Because honestly, when you work at a library, all those books, sometimes they come in water damaged, something happens. So I salvage the books, and then I turn them into new books. So sometimes, yeah, I'll probably talk about making new books. So that's what that question would be the answer to. Right, so another question was, why do you love reading and what book series got you into reading? Alright, so the book series that got me into reading is right here. Actually, this is the same book. Just one is older, one's a little newer. It's Edgar Rice Burroughs' um, The Martian, Tales of the Martian Chronicles. Um, this is the first one. Princess of Mars. I mean, who doesn't like a scantily clad man, you know, carrying a sword? Yeah, he's got his woman. Um, yeah, that, that got me interested. I even have my Thark Martian here. He's so cute. See? They're on the back. Alright, so these books... I got these books with my mother when she would take me to a used bookstore called the Bent Bookstore. And these are the books I would start picking because they didn't have much of a children's selection. So the books that got me going were science fiction books. And I love science fiction books. And these are old because we're talking about really late 80s. This one, well that's Grendel, but this one, these are cool. These are even older than when I was actually reading the books. These are two-sided. I mean, how neat is that? So, yeah. Science fiction, really old science fiction, got me into reading. I'm just going to answer a bunch of little questions that are all together instead of one at a time because I'm not showing you my face. I'm showing you my books instead. So, what challenges of being a booktuber will be the hardest to overcome. Not boring people, all right? And I don't really want to show my face too much because, you know, I just don't. And I want to show you my books instead. So that would probably be the one I'm trying to overcome. Trying not to bore you. I'm sure I'm going to bore a lot of people. Um, one of them, one of the questions was, when did you start reading? I started reading, I don't even remember when I started reading. That was a long time ago. I can't, I don't know. So where do you read? I read in this room. This room, woo! I read on my couch. I read while watching TV. I read while I'm listening to my husband play guitar. I read wherever there is a book handy. And what kind of books do you like to read? Well, I'm just showing you this right now. I love reading YA. I am past the YA, you know, age. I am way past that age, but I love YA books. I mean, these covers are so great. When you see this on a library shelf, they're just beautiful. 
They're not what the YA covers used to be when I was a kid. Oh, well, there were no YA books really back then anyway. But these are beautiful covers. Who wouldn't want to pick this up? Some of my other favorite books to read are little, little pocket books is what they used to be called. I don't know what they call them now. They're just little, little softback books. But they used to be called pocket books. And I love these kind of books. I love them that they're um, fantasy-ish. I love mermaids. I love the ocean. I don't like getting in the ocean, but I love a mermaid book. And I love historical fiction. Anything that's going to have Tudors, Princess Elizabeth, I'm going to pick that up because I love those books. And I like true crime. There's so many different books that I like. I'll read anything. Actually, if the book doesn't run away from me, I'm going to read the book. So, that should answer that question. I mean, honestly, I'm reading... I will still go back and read these books that I picked up when I was a kid. They're old, yellow. And you see the yellowing around the edges? Called Foxing. That's why I call mine channel, or my little name, Foxing on the Edges. It's kind of like me. Not quite young. Not quite too old, but getting older. I'm foxing on the edges here. So, that is a little bit about me. A little bit about why I want to do what I'm here for. Well, not even what I'm here for. I'm going to be goofy. I'm not going to make sense. I'm just going to talk and make a racket. And lots of hand movements. Because I like hand movements. And that's it. So thanks. And... I don't know. Leave a comment. Hey, if you have library questions, if you want to know library questions, ask me. I'll probably know it. So, thank you.